Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this one we're gonna be taking a look at the new podium vehicle, the Omnis EGT. As always we're gonna be taking a look at its exterior, its interior, the way it customizes in Los Santos Customs and ultimately I'm gonna be telling you if this podium vehicle is worth it or not. And with that let's start with the 360 around it while I give you some facts about it. First off this vehicle was released about uh, yeah, I wanna say 7-8 months ago in the middle of 2022. It's based on the current generation Audi e-tron GT and in-game it's gonna cost you 1.8 million dollars, which is a pretty penny. It's part of the sports classics, uh, I'm sorry, the sports car category in GT Online and in terms of interactivity, this is what you can do with it. You can open, wait for it, all four doors, the hood and the trunk, which uh, in this case are all four doors, the hood and the trunk. Uh, uh, because it, it has a it, it actually has a frunk so it's a all four doors the frunk and the trunk but uh, yeah I messed that joke up so moving on this is the exterior of the vehicle and as you can see it's very faithful to what it's supposed to be uh, homaging and uh, I really like the color scheme Rockstar chose for this one I really like the livery Rockstar chose for this one all in all very happy with the exterior of the vehicle even though it's raining Let's close this bad boy up and uh, yeah, let's jump inside and uh, look at the interior and maybe listen to how the car sounds, even though it's electric. And here we are on the inside and uh, yeah, it looks very generic. The way the car sounds is of course, uh, well, it, it, it doesn't because it's, it's, it's electric. Even though you have a... Uh, hmm. You have revs on the right hand side, which is kind of weird. In any case, let's go to Los Santos Customs and whoa, this is quick. Let's see, first of all, what type of drivetrain we're dealing with here. And no surprises, it's a all wheel drive car, which is pretty cool. Especially because the roads are gonna be kind of slippery and wet right now. And with that, let's go to Los Santos Customs. And of course, on our way there, I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the Omnis EGT. And first thought is that uh, I love the hydraulic spoiler. I just love those. Second thought is that it accelerates really quickly. And third thought is that the top speed is honestly not that great. The handling is really nice because of the low center of gravity. But uh, yeah, the top speed... Uh, maybe we're gonna be able to uh, make it better with customization, but... From what I can tell right now, yeah, top speed definitely not the best. Acceleration is really good though. The brakes are uh, decent on the kind of sluggish side, but uh, all in all, it's a pretty decent vehicle. 1.8 million dollars new, as I said in the beginning of the video, but uh, yeah. I'm really interested to see what we can customize on this one, because, uh, well, I like customizing. And here we are, on the inside, as I said before, this vehicle is a part of the sports car category in GT Online, even though it's electric. As for how much you can sell it for, actually, $12,000, even after I crashed it. So, that's something to care about for some reason. So, let's repair the vehicle and upgrade all the performance options up front. That's funny, it has an engine tuner option. Okay, moving on. We're gonna be upgrading all the performance options up front so we don't forget anything at the end. And, uh... Well, I kind of forgot the brakes, so brakes and the uh, engine are the only performance options. Which is really interesting. Moving on to upgrading the uh, visuals. And for that, we're gonna be going over to the front bumper options first and foremost. And, uh, well, yeah, I like what I see here. Let's go with the primary with the splitter. The rear bumper is kind of gonna be like the rear diffuser. Hmm... Let's go with primary race diffuser. Engine we already did, even though this vehicle doesn't have an engine. It has an electric motor, or in this case, motors. Let's see now. Fenders. I like that. The grill. Hmm, don't mind if I do. The hood. Or the frunk, in this case. Leveries. I really like this leveries. So uh, let's see what other leveries we can choose from. That's interesting, this completely deletes my hood option. The carbon hood. That's weird. Oh, 
Moving on to other liveries. This one is really cool as well. I gotta say, this vehicle has really cool liveries from what I see so far. Well, maybe except this one. Let's see now. Other, other, other. Mm. Yeah, I really like this livery, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be removing it because, well, why not? License plate. Of course, we're gonna go with yellow and black. Or, ooh, this looks good. But yeah, we're gonna go with yellow and black. We're gonna be respraying the vehicle at the end of our stay at Los Santos Customs. Let's see what we can do with the roof, though, for now. Oh, so pretty much nothing. Now well, let's go with the carbon roof, because why not? Let's see. Si Ooh! I like that extra detail on the side skirts. It, it puts a little piece on the front and two little pieces on the back. Yeah, I like that. Sharp. Spoiler! We can uh, add a spoiler to the vehicle, even though this is my favorite option. Okay, I really love what Rockstar did here. <coughs> you can get a spoiler, and you can still keep the hydraulic spoiler, I believe. So this is the one we're going to go with. Suspension. Let's see how much uh, we can slam it. No, oh, we can slam it a lot. Let's go with the street suspension option. Wheels. I actually kind of like those. Windows, we're gonna be tinting the windows just a little bit to the light smoke tint. And uh, as said before, last but not least, we're gonna be respraying the vehicle. And as always, I asked you guys, the viewers of the Bullshit Party, what color do you want me to make the vehicle in the video you're watching right now? And for this week, most of you suggested carbon black. So guess what? We're gonna be making it carbon black, which is well, honestly looks really cool, looks fresh. Let's see, secondary color, something matte maybe, even though this looks kind of tacky. Let's go with red, and you guys already see where we're going with this one. Go with the Bullshit Party logo, and we're off to the streets. And here we are, the sun is finally shining in uh, Los Santos, and uh, yeah, I gotta say, go away Franklin. I gotta say, I really like uh, the look of this vehicle, it looks gorgeous, just like the real one. As for how the vehicle has changed after fully up customizing and modifying it in Los Santos Customs, both uh, visually and performance-wise, uh, honestly, it feels kind of like the same. Because, uh, well, we didn't really customize a lot of the performance. We only had the uh, engine tune, even though this vehicle doesn't have an engine. And we put a spoiler, an extra spoiler on it. And yes, uh, I really like that the hydraulic spoiler is still there. So, yeah, in terms of... Uh, performance it's not a powerhouse definitely it's uh it's an electric vehicle so what, what you what you can expect from it is basically this very very good acceleration good handling and uh kind of mediocre to horrible top speed <laughs> that's basically what you can expect from it 1.8 million dollars is this one worth it for that well, but it has decent customization, it's a fun vehicle, it's really gorgeous to look at in my opinion, and I really like the rear light bar that we have here. So, is it worth it? I think so. 1.8 million dollars might be a little bit uh, on the expensive side, but considering this one is a podium vehicle, that means I got it for free, and if you're watching the video in the week it was released, then this is the current podium vehicle. So, you can get it for free as well. And, uh, yeah, I think this one is, uh, really, really worth it. It's a gorgeous-looking vehicle, it's really fast in terms of acceleration, and it's just really fun to drive around with. And with that, we're gonna be ending the video. Thank you, as always, so much to everybody that watched the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. Please like the video if you enjoy the content. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Ooh, a bus! Wait for me, Mr. Bus Driver, sir!